Well, this is broad as hell, tackling an entire genre. Now, I could have easily just made this a Why People Watch Konosuba, No Game No Life, SAO, or any number of shows this season, but I wanted to take a look at Isekai as a whole to try and hit on some unifying themes of the genre. Things that have led to these kind of shows having mass appeal and reach in recent years. Individual shows will have their unique bits and quirks that make them stand out more sure, but it all starts with that idea of being trapped in another world. For better or worse, let's do this. So a quick intro for those of you not fully in the loop. Isekai is a Japanese word that basically translates to another world or a different world. And in this genre, the typical trope involves our main character or characters getting stuck in this new world with or without their consent. This land is almost always fantasy-esque in nature, but from there it's kind of an open field. Some shows with this premise do decide to play it straight, but as the genre has become more popular and saturated in recent years, other series have sought to explore its darker implications, while some outright lampoon the concept. But initially, what I think compels people to watch Isekai are those fantasy elements that are on a base level appealing. They're ideas and tropes that are, in a sense, timeless. Combine those then with the inclusion of gaming elements like leveling up or gaining new skills that we've seen many of these shows do, and you can start to see why some Isekai series are absurdly popular. Despite these fantastical elements though, I think there's more to the appeal of this genre that's not quite so flashy. It's not strange for isekai shows to be fish-out-of-water stories, since our protagonist does suddenly find themselves adjusting to life in this bizarre new world. And that's something I think we can all relate to on some level. At some point, you may have the privilege of experiencing a different culture in one way or another, something that, especially if you're alone, can seem frightening at first. This is taking that idea to the extreme though, and it's not something necessarily everyone can or will relate to. That said, this feeling is not exclusive to literally placing yourself in another world. Anytime you move or find yourself in a new environment can be scary. Hell, one example I can think of that most of us have been through is the first time you sleep over at another kid's house. Even though it's temporary, even though you're with someone you like and know, that idea of being in some place unfamiliar without your parents can be downright terrifying. And one place I think we can most commonly find ourselves in this mindset is when we first enter high school. Yep, I've gone and done it now, haven't I? I think one reason people watch Isekai is because whether they know it or not, they relate to that same sense of fear, excitement, and potential that are so common with anime set in high school. The difference though is that in Isekai, those ideas have a lot more physicality to them. It's not so much, oh my god, did you hear what Becky said, as it is running from giant frogs. And it's this combination that can make an Isekai show popular even when its quality is at best meh. Look no further than this current season and you'll see what I mean. I'm not trying to say that this genre relies on its setting in place of things like creating actual compelling characters to root for, but I do think there is a temptation to have the setting pull more weight than it should be expected to. And I think the same can be said for shows set in high school. Creators just throw characters into these settings, check that box next to relatable, and move on to the next formulaic step. I'm getting a little off track though, and while I think at their core the high school and isekai settings share that common element, it's clear that people watch this genre because in many ways it's also the antithesis of your normal everyday setting. Going back to what I said earlier, these worlds have a built-in level of appeal. Legitimate fantasy can immediately seem inviting to anyone tired of the ordinary high school with the exception of insert random trope here setting. And Isekai manages to keep this relatable element, that is almost always the protagonist, intact while also offering a strong sense of escapism. The main character is literally escaping to this other world, something I think we all wish we could do from time to time. No doubt then this aspect would take a significant hit if we had a story set in a fantasy world where its entire cast was already native to it. You won't necessarily have that person you're immediately supposed to relate to, and as a result it may be some time before you've built up investment in other characters characters and the story. Plus, for better or worse, there's also no case for potential hilarious misunderstandings or cultural crossover as our protagonist becomes integrated with their new world. In summary, I think people watch Isekai because, even when it's done alright, it still manages to blend some of the best elements of escapism through fantasy with the relatability found in many anime set in middle and high school. The result being some of the most popular or, um, wide-reaching shows in the last decade coming from this genre. So regardless if you enjoy them or not, I hope I've helped you see why Isekai can attract a lot of viewers. 
But those are just my opinions, and I want to hear yours. Why do you watch isekai shows if you do it all? What's your most and least favorite show from this genre? Whatever your thoughts are, you can let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, and especially thank you to my amazing patrons, Penguin Panda Zero, Ajax, Overjoyed Soup, and everyone else generously supporting me. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. You can click on the left to subscribe, and if you want to help support me to receive various perks, you can click on the right to visit my Patreon, where for $2 a month, you can get access to my Discord server, where you can chat with some awesome people, and also me. I'm also looking into starting a monthly anime watch club, so you'll also be able to get in on that. But just you watching is incredible enough as it is, so stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.